getting a full house today. I love it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. Welcome everyone to Office Hours. I see some repeat attendees, so thanks for joining. Um, as a reminder, Office Hours happens twice a month, um, the second and fourth Thursday. We are here to share ambition, best practices, industry trends, insights, answer any of your questions. So go to the chat, go to the Q&A section. Uh, feel free to drop us uh, any questions. We'll get to those today. Um, office hours is open to anyone who wants to learn more about gamification, coaching, and ambition. So if you guys have some coworkers or some reps who want to learn more about this stuff, invite them to office hours. Um, I, think, I think we have a pretty good time here. So uh, be sure to register, share this with your reps. Um, as a reminder, you guys will all be getting a recap email um, sent to you, I think tomorrow or Monday. Um, it'll have a recording of this session, a recap, and access to this deck. So anything you see here that looks clickable, you'll be able to click into it and learn more there. Let's get started. So today's Ambition Experts, I'm Emma. Uh, I'm a customer success manager here at Ambition. And then we have Megan, and she wants to introduce herself. Hi guys, my name is Megan Nelson. I've been with Ambition for just over two years and I'm excited to work with Emma who's been heading up these office hours for us. Awesome guys. So today our agenda, Megan is gonna do a deep dive into our coaching data exports. It's a relatively new feature at Ambition but it holds a lot of value. So Megan's gonna do a deep dive um, hopefully y'all will find it super helpful. Um, and then I am going to um, go through all of the areas of the corners of the internet where you can get access to ambition resources. Um, so there's a lot of stuff out there. So I wanted to just go over all of that, make sure you guys know um, everywhere you could go to get the information that you need. Um, and then we'll of course open it up to Q&A. So be sure to send in those Q&As and Throw stuff in the chat and we'll be sure to get to it. We don't have Mary with us today. I know everyone's used to seeing Mary. She's on vacation. So we miss you, Mary. We'll try to, we'll try to do good for you. <laughs> All righty. And I'll pass it to Megan. Okay, perfect. I'm going to go ahead and steal the screen. Thank you. And y'all should see our demo account up on my screen here. We're good. Okay, um, well, I was very excited when Nick Love, our product manager, told us about the coaching overview page that he was going to add to our coaching platform. Uh, every time I talk to managers, I tell them that ambition is meant to make their lives easier. And everything, sorry, this is a very COVID office hours because my toddler just said hello. Uh, but everything that we do in Ambition is meant to make the manager's job easier. So what we've done is we've actually added a page that you will see when you log into coaching in the future that will have an overview tab here. And some of the reasons we've added this was to allow for you guys to see if you're coaching your teams evenly to figure out just how active each of your managers are in the coaching initiative within Ambition. I like to tell people to think of Ambition as their first aid kit for their team and all of the other apps that we have in there are meant to help you become a better coach as a manager here. So there are actually four different sections to this coaching overview and you're able to go through here and adjust the timeframes of the data that you're looking for as well as the different groups that are going to be monitoring this. Now, in terms of activities, you're going to see all the different types of activities that you can do within coaching over time here. And then if we scroll down, this is going to show you just how much you are utilizing that application within Ambition. Um, some key things to point out is we're going to let you know. Uh, like I said, we're here to help you guys as managers manage your people. Uh, so you'll be able to know if you haven't done a check-in with a specific individual. And if you want to, you can simply click on this little flying airplane here and create that check-in for that individual. 
Now, some of the other things that we've added to this are this attributions tab. And I was very excited when Nick told me that we were launching this because before you guys might remember that when you created a program, you would select the attribution metrics, AKA the most important metrics to your team that you would want to monitor at that period in time. And before you would just export that and see how they were performing week to week from the start of your program. Now we're having a much more active relationship with those attribution metrics. So what you can do is click on the program here and then click select employees and the metrics that you wanna track them on. I'm sorry, I'm gonna move away from this one. Uh, but you can see here for Erin, how effective your coaching program has been for her. So has her activity score increased week to week? Has she had an appointment set improvement? And the idea behind these attribution metrics is for you to evaluate, maybe I need to adjust the questions that I have in my check-ins. Maybe I need to go through and adjust how I'm talking or how I'm coaching each of my different team members. Now, the next thing we have on here is something that is relatively new to the coaching program. Those are gonna be rating systems. And you can see here, you can have up to five different categories that you're going to be measuring them on. And you can either give them one to five stars on any specific category that you're measuring them on. Some of the things I like about this is you can go through and actually filter like, who all did I give one or less stars to? And you can actually click into here and see which check-in you gave them that specific rating on. Um, this is going to be great to really hold them accountable to being prepared for those check-ins. Uh, another thing that we're working on here in the future that I was trying to get our product team to give me an answer on is we're gonna be launching a Zoom integration. So in the future, you will be able to have a link if you're using Zoom to the transcript of that call recording or that session that you had with that individual rep for that check-in. Uh, you're able to filter these by who the manager was, uh, which employee was checked or which employee was managed on there. And then of course, like I said, on the ratings below. Now, the final part to this is going to be just the ability to export all of this reporting. Um, most of my customers tell me that they have all of their reporting come from Ambition just because it's so clean and easy to utilize. So what you can do in here is select the date frame that you wanna pull the data for and for which group. This would be for any employee that is using the coaching application or under manager utilization here, you can go through and just select the date frames and see which of your managers are using coaching, how often are they doing check-ins, and then finally for the programs, figure out just how often those programs are being utilized. I'm gonna let you guys not have to hear a toddler scream for a little bit. I'm gonna let Emma take over, unless you guys have any questions. Yeah, be sure to throw questions in the chat or the Q&A about um, this coaching overview. It's super cool stuff. Um, if HR wants to get maybe uh, access to Ambition and come in here and be able to pull coaching reports, that's gonna be super useful to them. Maybe your um, Ambition admin wants to regularly come in here check out these insights, send some reports over to maybe, uh, you know, your VPs and stuff. They want to have some easy insight into what's happening. So uh, looking forward for you guys to, ch to check it out a little bit more. So I am going to share my screen again. Let me get this nice and big. Awesome, guys. So <clears throat> kind of our little topic for today is ambition resources. So there's so much out there that I wanted to just kind of do a little refresh and make sure that everyone knows everything that's out there and what you can really use it for. Um, so I've got all the links here and I have them pulled up in a tab. So I'm going to close out of this in a second and really walk through them one by one. But the one I wanted to note down here is the sales summit. And that is our um, Slack channel that we created to kind of have a community of ambition customers to share best practices. What competitions are you doing? What does your scorecard look like? Um, 
you know, celebrate if you guys, you know, hit your goals or something like that. Um, it really is a great community and I have a little screenshot of what to expect. Um, so we've got one of my customers right here, Adam. He's so great. He's always sharing great information, um, creative contests. We've got Chris, who's our SDR manager. Um, so really, really fun stuff. So everyone joined the sales summit. I want to see you guys in there, introduce yourself, share what kind of competition you're doing right now. Let's get a conversation started. Um, but when you get this um, deck sent to you in the recap email, go back. this link right here, the sales summit, it takes you to where you can log in um, and join the sales summit. So that's what this link here is for. So hope to see all of you guys on that. I am going to exit out of my presentation and go straight into all the different resources that again are linked into um, that document or that slide deck. And I think we actually might have had a chat. Did we have a chat come through, Megan? Uh, that was just me apologizing. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So the first thing I've got right now is like the holy grail of ambition. I heard Chad who jumped on here. He called it Google for ambition, which I love. Um, Help.ambition.com. That's where you need to go. That's what you need to know. Um, you can search any phrases, competitions, goals, scorecards, integrations, stuff like that. It'll take you to tons of help articles um, that walk you through in detail, um, you know, anything related to that topic. Um, but also all of our help documentation is organized by role. So you can go into whatever role suits you, uh, what your needs are. Um, and then we have some other areas as well. One thing that's really cool is the announcements. So you can always click in here and see what our latest release notes are. So I always come in here as a great reference. I live in help.ambition.com. So you can always go in, see what ambitions pushed out um, lately. And we'll always have a little recap there for you guys. Um, once you go into the different sections, what I think is super cool is it's divided by um, different aspects of the product, but not only is it a walkthrough tutorial, but you'll also find best practices and little videos and um, stuff that I hope, you know, makes this a lot easier, you know, to set up and maintain your ambition instance. Um, but it's such a great resource. I know that me and all the other CSMs, we use this every single day. Um, to help make sure that we have, you know, the best and most up-to-date information for you guys. Um, so quick start guide to goals, quick start guide to competitions, lots of really great stuff in here. So if you don't have help.ambition.com bookmark, bookmarked, you should do it. Definitely. So the next thing I've got is Ambition University. Um, so these are courses that you can take to help you become an Ambition Pro. Um, they're divided into different tracks, um, so you can do, you know, what's applicable to you. You can even share an employee essentials with your users if you want them to get up and running on Ambition super quickly. Um, and then we also have down at the bottom a sales coach certification course. So this even expands outside of Ambition and is really all about um, best practices, industry trends in relation to sales coaching. Um, so we want you guys to be super confident sales coaches and so you can get your certification course here. Um, I'm not even a sales coach, but I took this course and it actually is pretty challenging and I learned a lot. Um, so I would love to see everyone sign up for that and sign up for all of these courses. Learn a thing or two about ambition. Um, all right, next one we've got are our templates. Um, so I know sometimes it's difficult to be creative and you don't know what competition to do or you don't know how to format a scorecard. Um, well, we've got a lot of really great downloadable templates for you here, um, and they're based off real life use cases. So either Ambition ourselves or our customers have been kind enough to donate um, their templates of what they're doing in coaching and their scorecards and their contests. Um, and so you can go and see what everyone else is doing, use it verbatim or kind of take your own spin on what makes sense for your organization. But it can be a really great jumping off point if you don't feel the creative juices flowing. Um, but you can get to that from ambition.com. And then from here, we've just got that templates tab. That'll take you right here. You can start downloading those. And then next is also on ambition.com. It's our blog. I love our blog. It is so interesting and insightful. And we've got 
awesome content on there. So you can go to ambition.com resources blog. Um, and there's just all sorts of cool articles. You can look at different categories. Um, but a lot of interesting stuff, webinar recordings, um, interviewing, you know, ambition customers and partners, um, on what they're doing right now, how they're using ambition. Um, and then one of my favorite series, how ambition uses ambition. Uh, I know that one's been super popular. So we really lay out exactly how we use our own product, which I know a lot of people find kind of interesting and it's pretty fun. Um, so all of those are here. They're recorded here. All the office hours are here. Um, so if you ever want to go back and relive the glory of office hours, you can find those here. Um, but it's always a good place to go and kind of see what's new. What's what, what sort of industry trend should I be keeping my pulse on? We try to uh, get that all for you guys here. And then lastly, I've got our LinkedIn. If you don't follow us on LinkedIn, be sure to go ahead and give us a follow um, because we always post if we're going to be doing a webinar, um, if we have anything exciting coming up, um, we always post that here. So a lot of good stuff. So be sure to follow us on LinkedIn to get up to date webinar information. I know everyone likes to attend the webinars. Um, and then the last one I have here is ambition emails. So I just wanted to highlight that our marketing team who is amazing, um, sends out emails, uh, on all of this stuff. So on webinars, on, um, you know, new industry trends on any changes within our platform, you'll get some awesome communication from our marketing team. But if for some reason you're not getting ambition emails, let your CSM know and we'll make sure you get added to those email lists. Um, Cause they're really, they're cute and they're fun and they're really valuable. So we want to make sure you're getting them. Um, cool guys. I know that was pretty light, but I think it's always good to have a refresher. And these are some really, really great resources that can help everyone become an awesome um, ambition product owner. So if you guys are the product owner at your organization or you're the admin, um, these tools are really going to empower you to rock at your job. Um, so I hope that you find that helpful. Um, and now I can just open the floor to any Q&A. So if anyone has any questions for us, go ahead and send them over in either the chat or the Q&A. And, and while we're waiting on that, Emma, one thing I wanted to note is that the customer success role is really to take all of that helpful information that our company is creating for you and pick out the pieces that are going to help you guys obtain your goal and share that with you. So if we're reaching out to you as CSMs, we really just want to know how to best help you and get that information to you as quickly as possible. So don't ignore our emails. Because <laughs> we will follow up. <laughs> and follow up. <laughs> Any questions? Don't be shy. Does anyone have any, I know that we're just coming back from a holiday and the end of Q2, is anyone running any exciting Q3 kickoff spiffs or anything fun? Anyone heard any fun ideas you want to share with the group? Have you heard anything, Megan, from any of your customers? One of mine was kind of going back to that Tiger King documentary. I'm like, you're a little behind on this, but uh, just making uh, the teams based off the characters in the documentary and then the winner of it was actually the Tiger King oh for, that for that competition. And like, I, like I've been recommending to people, like we want to keep everyone engaged day by day. So do it on something as simple as the amount of calls that they're making or something that's very controllable for people where right now a lot of things aren't controllable. Uh, so in terms of like what you're going to make this competition about, pick a simple metric and keep it simple, stupid when you're creating the competitions. Don't have it be on like 10 different uh, metrics or KPIs that they're tracking with an ambition. Yeah, that is great advice. I know a couple of my customers, they're really taking the, um, taking the like initiative right here in the first week of the quarter and they're mapping out competitions through the entire quarter. So they're going in and they're building them out for every week through the end of September, which is really good. I think it's going to 
help them in the long run. They don't have to worry about it. You know, they can set it and it's going to just kind of roll on its own, which is pretty cool. That's actually a great point, Emma, because we always get from our, our product owners, like, how much time should I be spending in ambition on a day to day basis or monthly basis? And I like to tell them to, to meet with our your sales leaders at the beginning of the month, figure out what their goals are, and then just spend one day knocking it all out, all of the building that you need for that month out. And then the rest of the month is really just monitoring it. Um, so that's kind of our advice for you guys to make the most out of your time and ambition. Yeah, that's awesome. And we have Shirley is raising her hand. I think maybe I can give you permission to talk. Let's see. Hey, Shirley. Did you have a question for us? Good morning, ladies. No, I just wanted to just tag on to what Megan was saying in terms of keeping it simple. And something I recently did, and we've tried all kinds of different competitions here at Waste Management, but one of the most successful for my team anyway was doing a Taco Tuesday, <clears throat> excuse me, basically just on some of their activities, which is the inbound and outbound calls, because don't you know that drives everything else, right? And it's so funny because there's other things that we could give them for their awards. But what I did was I did Taco Tuesday, whoever won got to pick the Mexican restaurant close to their home and then I door dashed them their tacos. And we're gonna do it again because it went over so successfully. I love that idea. That makes me really want tacos right now. <laughs> That's a perfect idea because no one wants to cook anymore. Like right? we're done with cooking. <laughs> yeah, I see. I've seen a lot of like DoorDash, um, Instacart gift cards, and things like that. You know, everyone wants their uh, extra fifteen pounds they're gaining while they're at home too. <laughs> Chad said, Shirley, can I join your team for the week? <laughs> Love it. For sure. Awesome. Thank you for sharing, Shirley. My pleasure. Awesome. Anyone else have anything fun yeah. and exciting? Maybe it'd be cool to hear what you guys want to hear about in the next office hours as we build out that content. Yeah. anything you'd like to learn more about or maybe even just get a refresher. I know that's nice and helpful. All right, guys. Well, if you think of anything, be sure to let your CSMs know. We're always pulling those ideas um, on, you know, what would be helpful for you guys to hear more about. Um, and if anyone doesn't, if there, no one has any more, you know, last minute questions, we can go ahead and wrap things up for today. But thank you for joining. You'll get a recap sent out to you guys. Um, and we hope you guys dig into coaching exports and dig into all the awesome ambition resources that are out there at your fingertips. And I'm looking forward to hear how it all goes for you guys.